Hello guys, this is Prime Concept. In this video, I want to talk about a video I saw on Facebook where a lady was trying to prove that 1 is equal to 3, even though she said she was joking. But I want to point out where the mistake is from that analysis. Now, she started by saying, let's set 0 to be equal to 0, which is true. Then she said, 0 is same as 1 minus 1. And then 0 is still same as 3 minus 3. So I can come here and multiply 1 by itself, 1. 1 by 1 is 1, minus 1 by 1 is also 1. Same thing, 3 times 1 is actually still 3, minus 3 times 1 is actually still 3. So if you come here, since 1 is common, I can factorize, I'll have 1 into 1 minus 1. So I come to this side, 3 is common, so I'll factorize 3, I have 1 minus 1, right? Yes, and then you divide both sides by 1 minus 1. You divide both sides by 1 minus 1. When you do this, this can go. This can go. Then you'll be left with what here? 1. And then on this side, you'll be left with what? 3. And she was able to show that 1 is equal to 3. But this is not actually mathematical. The challenge with this problem is that you don't divide 1 minus 1 is 0. 1 minus 1 is 0. There is nothing like 0 over 0 in mathematics. This is called indeterminate. That is where the problem comes from. So it means that this division is not even possible in math. So at this point, the math becomes what? Wrong. So in mathematics, you don't divide by this. You don't divide by this. So thanks. I believe this concept is clear. Even though it looks tricky, and some persons will already believe that it is true, that math is not consistent, but I beg to differ, mass is what? Consistent. So this is not actually a true proof because zero cannot be divided by zero. Thanks for watching Prime Concepts.